Hey guys. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today um, for this very special virtual event. Uh, my name is Michael Hibachi, and this is Victoria Suarez, our showroom manager. Um, I have, if you're not familiar, I have a uh, beautiful showroom in ADAC called Hibachi Designs um, and Atelier. And we represent lots of beautiful Scandinavian lines. Um, and one of which, one of my favorites is actually uh, a company called Gooby out of Denmark. And so um, we're really drawn, I'm personally really drawn to this uh, minimal modern Scandinavian aesthetic and Gooby is just hands down doing an incredible job. I mean, they have some classics that go back from the 50s and 60s and, um, and they have beautiful current designs that will be the future classics that, that uh, I'm excited to, to uh, present to you guys today. Yeah. So, so um, anyway, we, uh, it gives us great pleasure to introduce you guys to our Gooby ambassador. His name's Anderson Vieira, and he will be presenting all these amazing project products to you today. Anderson, take it away. Thank you, guys. Uh, I hope you are having a great afternoon. So um, I'm very honored to be here talking about Gooby with Habachi Design. Um, it's before I worked for Gooby was my favorite brand. So when there was opportunity for work for working with Gooby, I jumped it right away. And Victoria told me that the name of the presentation is going to be the resilience of design. And it got me thinking like, what makes a design resilient? Uh, how does it resist the test of time? What makes it unforgettable? So that's a chance for us to look into some of our uh, best-selling products and talk about it. Um, today, we're gonna talk about the Beetle Chair by Gian Fratesi. Um, we're gonna talk about the Pacho Chair by Pierre Paulin. And we're going to talk about the Greta Grossman collection and about her wonderful life. And what I love about Greta Grossman is that she was about to be forgotten, but she was saved by a um, yard sale. So we're going to talk about this more. So let me start my presentation here. Let me share my screen. Can you guys see it? think so. So let's start. Our first stop is going to be the Beetle Collection. Uh, the Beetle Collection is how I was first introduced to Gooby. It's one of our best selling chairs. It's one of the most beautiful and practical chairs we have in the market right now. Uh, the creators, Gen Fratesi, uh, they love observing nature. They love this idea of bringing nature inside the house. So they spend years observing the, uh, the beetle, the insect itself, to create that as a chair. It's very funny because when you see the chair from the back, you see the idea of a beetle shell being constructed. So the whole idea is to have a hard back and a soft inner part like the, the, uh, the beetle would be. We have, we have created a chair for every occasion. And if you guys don't know Gian Fratesi, they are the eight cup of interior design right now in Europe. Everybody loves them. They work with Gooby, but they work some other manufacturers as well. But some of the best works uh, with us. Um, I love to say that um, it was kind of a Cinderella story because nobody believed in Gian Fratesi before. They took the Beetle chair to several uh, other manufacturers, and they all said no, because they said that it was very similar to other chairs in the market, uh, but they were resilient, as as you can say. Um, and they start shopping around, and then finally they found Gooby. Uh, and Gooby was kind of have second thoughts about putting the market, because we're very successful with our uh, 3D collection, which was a chair that had been introduced to the MoMA. But we decided to give it a chance, and that was amazing because it has become one of our best selling chairs in the world for the past three years. And it's a chair for every occasion, as I mentioned before. So it's very comfortable. It's very upgradable. It's a chair that it can work for both residential and contract use, which we love here in the US. 
you can customize and we have short lead time. So for us, it works perfect for every project. So here are some pictures of the uh, home inspiration. So what we can do with this chair. We have the idea we call it beautiful for life because there is a beetle for every aspect of your life and there is a beetle for every budget. The beetle starts uh, at a lower price with not upholstered and it goes to a higher price group if you get the fully upholstered version of it. We have several options in legs and when I say it's customizable because you can do this cherry any way that you can imagine. So let's say that you want a back in a color, the front in one color, different pipings, you can do that. I say everything is a conversation, so we always try to accommodate the different projects. We have these all over the world in different uh, restaurants, hotels, even amusement parks. So it's a chair for every occasion. And the bitter collection is just, it's not only the chair, but we also have the meeting chairs, uh, the bar stools, the counter stools, uh, the bar chairs and the counter chairs, the sofa version, the ottoman is a huge collection. And we're just proud that you also be introducing right now uh, the outdoor collection. So now we have beetle for inside, beetle for outside. And again, that's a beetle for every stage of life and every budget. We have different color options for the for unopposed shells. Um, and you can combine and create different uh, different bases in wood, plastic, or uh, metal. So again, it's a chair for every stage of your life. You can make different combinations. Every project can be unique, depend on what you want. And we also do, uh, we also very good with COM when it comes to uh, these chairs, the COM and COL. It's very, we say that it's very COM and COL friendly. And uh, back to Genfratesi, they love this idea of creating something that is unique for you and something that is going to last forever in your lifetime. So with this in mind, those chairs are also BFM approved so they can handle heavy duty. You can use in the house, in a beautiful environment in the house and you can use in a stadium and they're gonna work pretty well together. That's one of the examples of what is resilient uh, of a chair. So now we move into another one of our favorite designers, Pierre Pollon. Pierre Pollon is a legendary French designer. Uh, he was the number one in his class and he worked with people, famous people like Marcel Gascoigne. And very early in, in his life, he was invited to create unique projects all over Europe. He was very loved. His designs are, are very, you, you, must, you guys may recognize some of his iconic designs like the mushroom and ribbon and tongue chairs. Those became instant classics and have been introduced in different museums all over the world. We have him in the MoMA here in the US and we have him in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. He's very famous and we proud to carry one of his, our favorite designs and one of his favorite that was not very successful at the time of his life, but now it is, which is the Pacha chair. Uh, the Pacha takes inspiration in the clouds. Uh, Pierre Paulon would love to walk outside and look at the clouds. You know, when people go outside like kids playing and they, uh, thinking about like, oh, the cloud looks like an animal, it looks like this, look like that. He would say that the clouds look like fluffy chairs or fluffy sofas that he would like to bring that to life. And it took a while, but he created the Pacha Lounge chair. Uh, the Pacha Lounge chair is very, very low profile. And when I first saw it and I was like, nah, this is not gonna work for the US because we have a lot of tall people here. And this being a low profile, I didn't think it was going to work, but I was so, so wrong. The chair is extremely comfortable. I sat on it for the first time and I fell in love with it. Uh, from the very beginning, the chair starts selling really, really well. Uh, it's, it's unique, it's different from everything you see in the market. Uh, there's nothing like the Pacha chair out there. And it has the 
uh, fixed base or the swivel base. People call it, uh, I love that when people call it the um, video game chair because it's very low, but it's more than that. It's very classic, it's very beautiful. And when you sit on it, you don't want to get up. I order one for me and I'm very happy with it. And again, it's a collection that works both for residential and contract use. The, there is a fun story about it because when we first introduced it here in the US, we put some stock in Chicago and it was not selling. But then uh, one of the Kardashians, I don't remember the, the name, so many of them, but one of the Kardashians got, uh, got two of them and put in her office in LA and Instagram the picture and out of sudden, like our stock sold out right away and it's been selling out since then. Like, I don't wanna credit the success of the patient to the Kardashians, but that happened really quick, thanks to the Instagram post. And now we introduced uh, 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 the whole collection like um, Pierre Paulon intended to with the sofa and the ornaments. So we have individual modules that can connect to each other, or you can do, use just the single chair, but it's great, it's been selling really well for us. And it's, and I believe we can, it can do really well, both residential contract markets. It's beautiful, it connects with each other, it can go as big and as small as you need it to be. And again, it's one of our favorites. It's It has become one of my personal favorites. And if you guys never tried it, I totally um, advise you to, because once you sit on it, you're gonna see that it's unique and it's amazing. You're gonna want to have it. Now we're gonna move to Greta Grossman. Um, a lot of people don't know much about Greta Grossman, but she is a piece of a woman. She is amazing. And once I learned her, I fell in love with her. Um, Greta Grossman was the only woman in her class when she was tr uh, trying to be a designer. She was the only woman in a world that it was all men were ruling it. And she became the most successful. Before she was, she even graduated, she was already like designing cribs for royalty and a lot of other pieces. Um, she was already very, very known in Europe before we, get, we got to know her here. And her life was amazing. She fell in love with a jazz singer called, uh, called uh, Bill Grossman. And they were like going around the world, just experiment and trying new things. She was studying every type of design that she could lay eyes on. And her life was incredible. But then the war happened in Europe and she, they decided to move to New York. Uh, she was, uh, Bill Grossman was going to be on a tour in the U.S. So she was like, okay, I'm going to come with you and let's go from there. So they moved to the U.S. The first stop was L.A. The idea was to go from L.A. to New York. But then uh, Greta got, the, got something that she never had in Europe, which is uh, sunlight like all year long. And she fell in love with the idea of having a house where she could go outside and enjoy the sun every single day. So she's created the idea of moving to New York and she decided to establish a workshop, a small workshop in Rodeo Drive. I don't know if it was uh, her track record or if it was her fame, but the this, this store became successful overnight. She was being visited by people from all over the world and celebrities like Greta Grossman, Barry Davis, they always stop to uh, get some unique pieces from her. Here is a portrait of Greta Grossman in one of her houses as an old lady. Here's the before lamp, one of uh, her cutest lamps that I love, by the way. Cobra Collection, which was just introduced last year to the MoMA permanent collection. and the Grasshopper Collection, which is one of our best-selling pieces to this day, yeah. So you would think that with this amount of fame and success that she had, um, she was going to be like 
a name that everybody's going to remember. But no, Sandley, she closed her shop in Rodeo Drive and disappeared. Nobody heard about her anymore. Uh, rumor was that she was like designing houses, just like small projects when people hired her to do it. We don't know exactly what happened, but she got totally forgotten for years and years. Uh, remember when I said in the beginning that she was saved by a yard sale? So the owners of uh, R and Co in New York, they were going through a yard sale. I don't remember if it was upstate New York, and they saw the grasshopper lamp, and they fell in love with it. But nobody knew who designed that or where it came from. So it took them months and months of research to try to find who created the grasshopper lamp, and then they found some old design magazines and they read about Greta Grossman. So they're like, okay, we're gonna find, find this woman and we're gonna have her sign a contract with us. So they track her down, they found her house in the, in the Hollywood Hills, but she was dead. And her stepdaughter was living there. And the stepdaughter had everything saved in the basement. And she basically sold everything for not a lot of money because she hated Greta Grossman and didn't want anything to do with her work. So she took all the catalogs, all the drawings, saw the, all the pieces she had and said, here, that's the price to get it. Of course, the owners of Iron Co. took everything to New York, did an inventory and decided to put some, some of those pieces back in the market. And then Greta Grossman was back again, back from the dead, basically. She was totally forgotten. Suddenly we knew who she was again. And that's a very nice story. Like how many designs are, are are out there that we don't know because the design just got lost. It's such a wonderful, it's such a wonderful story. Like we would have lost so much if we never get access to her work. And then we, as we researched, we found out that she designed beautiful houses in, in all over um, LA. She was not only designed like uh, lamps or sofas, but she was designing like houses as well. And some of them are still there. I think they have still have one or two houses still in the Hollywood Hills. It's one of her houses. Very, very nice. And I love when she said, there is no sense in discard the old merrily because it's not new. So many old things mix in very well. So many good things are timeless. And that's the idea of the, uh, the resilience of design because some of the pieces are made to last forever. Some of these stories are made to be here with us for a very long time. And now we still have Greta Grossman. We still have Pierre Paulon. We have uh, Gay Fratesi. So it's good that we welcome the new, but we also enjoy having access to what was there in the past. Um, I think we're done here for now, but we're gonna go for a Q&A with Victoria and Michael from Hibachi Design. Hi. Hey guys. Anderson, thank you so much. That was an amazing presentation. I think we're just the resiliency of design, the resiliency of the past year and a half we've been through. I think it's a very timely theme. So that was a wonderful exploration of those products. Um, it is. Greta uh, is such an inspiration. I think that her story is so telling of the time and, and for her to make a comeback like that is a really cool tale. So it's funny when, when you go to uh, R Co in New York and they have the um, they have all the original drawings, all the inspiration that she had, there's everything there. And if you ask, they bring you to a room and they show you everything. It's really, really nice. I highly recommend if you're in New York, stop in R Co for a for a few hours just to check on the on what they have. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have some wonderful pieces here in our showroom as well. Um, we uh, we have the pacha in the showroom that, that you absolutely need to to try. It, it is super comfortable. And I bought one for my place as well. I, I, I just love it. It's the ultimate lounge. Um, you know, if, if you have a um, appreciation for some of the mid-century modern classics. Um, some of these pieces just work so well into current design as well. And, and I love mixing it up and, and that's, Yubi has some great pieces like that. 
Um, I see we actually just got a question um, about the beetle chat, a uh, beetle chair <laughs> from the chat of the beetle chair being available in the showroom. Yes, we do. Um, it is available um, not off the floor, as, as Anderson mentioned, you know, it's so customizable. So we can really build it bespoke exactly how your clients want. Um, mm -hmm. But we do have some prototypes here in the showroom. If you wanted to come see and sit in person, we have, a, we have the Pacha, we have a Beetle uh, lounge chair, and we have the bar stool. Yeah. Um, so please come by and, and take a seat and yeah, you know, try it out. It's, it's even, it's just incredibly comfortable. It, there's, there's um, a little bit of a tilt mechanism. I don't know what it is that they did, but when you sit in it, it's got a little like you can, you can rock. Rock. yes, yeah, and, and you can literally stretch and rock back and forth, and it just kind of moves with your body, and it hugs you regardless of your size. I mean, it's an incredible chair. So we have another question um, about how Michael might incorporate some some of um, Greta's pieces into a current design. Um, we have lots of projects right now. Yeah, as a matter um, of fact, we. Uh, um, where there's a beautiful chess lounge that Greta designed with a hairpin leg. Uh, the G &G. And, and uh, we, we are placing one in a shearling, which kind of adds that extra texture um, into this great little space where, you know, what I love about that, that chase is the, uh, the pitch is just right. So you're not laying down. Um, you can actually sit in it be super comfortable and still have a conversation with others in the room. We, so it's that perfect pitch. Yeah, it's they currently put the, those uh, lounge chairs in one of uh, in one of the lounges in the Miami airport, and we got wonderful feedback about it. They said that's really comfortable. Oh, wow. People lay down there. Just, it it fits your body perfectly, especially in the lower back. People Man. fall very easily there. I bet everybody is going to be fighting over that lounge in the <laughs> in airport. The airport? Uh, the perfect airport. There's never a comfortable seat in the airport. So that sounds amazing. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. the, the other thing I would say, that was another point I wanted to bring up. But, and for those of you don't, that don't know, I have an interior design firm as well that does a mix of hospitality and residential. We work uh, on restaurants, hotels. We do luxury condo buildings. And we do private residences. And Gooby is one of those lines that is built to work and all, of all kinds of all of those applications. I mean, it's it's just incredible. Uh, it's it's literally contract furniture that that feels very luxurious and residential. That's what I love about it. So many commercial pieces tend to look to contract and, and vice versa for you know. So this is one of those lines that'll work in all applications. I would also add that, um, you know, Gooby is the great line, um, but like Michael said, just to kind of um, expand on that a bit is, is the versatility of the line working for residential and commercial spaces, but also they have a quick ship program. So we've all been through a year where people maybe don't have stock or yes. <laughs> are waiting for something, something overseas for several months. So um, that's been a great tool, um, having those resources readily available um, a lot of the, the lighting and a lot of the side tables, coffee tables, dining tables. The grasshopper. Um, <laughs> I love yes. saying that, the grasshopper. <laughs> but I just ask if the, uh, the cloud pieces, the pacha chairs are appropriate for corporate environments. Yes, they are. In fact, we have them in, in the Google offices, in the Netflix offices. So yes, they are totally, uh, they are totally ready for corporate in projects. So yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I also see a request if we've worked with any art galleries. And I don't know if that's for Gooby specifically, like on a brand level um, for the domestic market here, or if that's a Michael question. I don't know if um, Marina would like to expand on it. But um, Anderson, did you want to maybe note on anything? I mean, if certainly um, the museums that carry some of these iconic pieces um oh yeah that, i mean it's it, didn't you say that um the, she's in the moma yeah she, she's now in the moma the museum of yes Modern personally art. uh i don't think gooby has worked with any art galleries here in the u.s but we are in the in the moma with some of our iconic pieces like the 3d uh the 3d chairs there um 
great agrosment pieces are there. And I think there, there are plans to introduce uh, the beetle and the patch in the future. Yeah, for sure. The, the Gamfratesi's beetle will be, mark my words, and I They are on a roll. Mind. Like everybody's talking about them. Uh, it's very hard to, to get them to choose. Uh, um, to do interviews because they are so focused in the work and they just release a, a lot of new pieces for us, like uh, the Epic and the violin chairs. The, I yeah, mean, just incredible people. pieces. I had the pleasure of, of uh, hearing them in Copenhagen for uh, three days of design. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just like amazing people that, that really just put that, so much thought and attention into their designs. And, and I feel like you, when you sit in it, you you kind of you sense that you know there's yep. a soul to their work. So. Well, the design is 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 a testament to the hard work. I mean, for them to have maybe not found anyone to want to make the chair, and now it turns into one of like the most recognizable contemporary dining chairs. Um, I think like that's that is a story of resiliency for sure. Mm -hmm. And while it's not quite a classic yet, I think we all agree that it certainly will be. And, and, and how amazing is it that like it has so many different variations? You know, yeah. if you if you want the brass leg, you could do a brass leg or if you want a really beautiful bent walnut um, leg, I mean, and you want to add wood to the piece. I mean, there's just so many different styles that that could work in, in various interiors. So, and I've been seeing the beetle and, and all kinds of spaces, you know, that are very eclectic, transitional, as well as, you know, beautiful contemporary spaces. Yes, Gianfratesi actually, they are very, very humble, very nice. Uh, two years ago, uh, they came to New York for, uh, uh, for some interviews. So we went, uh, for dinner together, and then we we are talking about the design. And I'm like, did you expect uh, the beetle to be this huge of a success? And they're like, no, we are just happy that it was being produced. But they didn't expect that for the last three years is the best selling chair in the world. So amazing, we're very humble, and happy about it. You guys got to come to the showroom and check this chair out in person. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, is there anybody else uh, have any questions for us? So I think. Yeah, well, if you guys, um, we appreciate everyone joining us today. Um, I have um, a list of, of participants. So be on the lookout for um, a lucky winner because we're going to be doing a giveaway for a three giveaways. We're doing a, a grass yes. top lamp and um, two uh, B4s. Wow, um, that's so, exciting. So uh, yeah, we're having a Greta giveaway. I'll be in touch you know, later this afternoon with, um, with our winners. But um, I also just wanted to say thank you. And if anyone is interested in learning more about Gooby, um, you need pricing, you need more information, you know, reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you. Um, my email is victoria at hibachidesigns.com or showroom at hibachidesigns.com. And um, we look forward to seeing you in the showroom soon. We're double vaccinated. So yes. come on through. We'll have our masks, but um, we would love to, to have you in. So yeah, please please come by. Yes, thanks again for the opportunity, ADAC. We, we uh, love being a part of this event. And uh, I don't think we could have thought of a better partner such as Gooby to uh, participate this year. So thank you. Thank you, Anderson, for all thank your time. Guys. Have a wonderful afternoon. All Bye. right. Take care.